And as the 2012 campaign season gets into the swing, President Obama is heading for the Lone Star State on a trip to the Texas-Mexico border. But many are questioning what's really on his agenda and whether he'll actually discuss real solutions to solving the growing illegal immigration issue. Joining us live to talk more about this, the El Paso Police Officers Union, Sergeant Ron Martin. Sergeant Martin, thank you so much for talking with us. How critical is the illegal immigration situation and the possible crime that goes along with that along the border at El Paso? Uh, we believe it's very critical. Um, it's just, it's a little thing you have to deal with here. Uh, we have a lot of criminals that come into El Paso from Mexico, and even the ones that come across legally and get granted crossing cards and working permits and other things like that, if they do commit crimes, they need to be, I guess, a good way to put it, is kicked out of our country and those rights taken from them. Uh, now, the president's coming tomorrow, but it's going to be, it's not open to the public. It's going to be a private, I guess, a discussion, and we're not too sure who he's going to invite at this time. Now, Sergeant Martin, uh, the president has been under considerable fire for uh, for denying uh, federal emergency aid uh, in the in the wake of the Texas wildfires. And a lot of his critics are saying that this is just a photo opportunity and a campaign stop for, for fundraising. Uh, do, do you see this as an opportunity for him to discuss any uh, any substantive immigration reform issues? I, I think he will. You know, El Paso's the number one state the city in the country due to its size across the border from the deadliest city in the world. And I guess he's looking at El Paso as doing something right. And hopefully he comes down here and the dialogue is back and forth. And he's not just here to speak. He's actually here to listen also. And, uh, and hopefully that information be, you know, exchanged back and forth. And I, I hope it's not just a political maneuver to get more votes. I actually hope he's coming down here to do something to correct the problems that we face down here. I, I, there are critics who say until the border is secure and free of violence, there's there's no such thing as immigration reform. It's just not going to happen. What do you say about that? Uh, yes and no. I mean, how do you secure the border? Do you want a Berlin Wall type thing with gun turrets every 50 yards? No. Because, I mean, in El Paso, half of our community lives on the other side of the of the river. I have parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters of officers that work on the department that live over there. I mean, that's that's how El Paso has been, and it's never going to change. So how do you stop people from coming across? You, know, you have hundreds of thousands of people that, that flee the violence in Mexico, and how do you tell them, no, you can't come here? Now, Sergeant Martin, I mean, Oh, I was just going to ask you, I'm sorry, the, you know, El Paso has always been held up as, as, again, one of the safest cities in America. You said so yourself. But you get outside the city limits, and it's kind of a different story. Do you think the president is going to get an opportunity to see some of that? Well, somebody had asked me a question. You know, what would you, if you had five minutes alone with the president, what would you tell him? And my, my response is, I wouldn't tell him anything. What I would want him to do is get in the car with me and drive him around to some of these remote locations and see what, the people down here face, see what law enforcement, some of the smaller communities that basically are the suburbs of El Paso, because once you put hold the line and you put a large amount of law enforcement in El Paso, they're going to try to go around. Well, then you have Sunland Park, New Mexico, you have Anthony, you have Horizon City, you have Socorro, you have Hudson County, you have all these little places where these people are now going to elude law enforcement. And the majority of it right now is drugs going northbound and weapons and cash going southbound. All right. Well, we appreciate you taking the time out to talk to us today. That's Sergeant Ron Martin with the El Paso Police Officers Union. We'll certainly be following the president's trip to Texas, that's for sure. No question.